welcome back. The top brass of Canada's intelligence agencies are set to speak at the inquiry into foreign interference today. Oh, that nice. includes CSIS and the telecommunication security establishment. Yesterday, former Conservative Party leader Aaron O'Toole said he's convinced foreign interference from the Chinese government led to the defeat of up to nine Tory candidates in the 2021 federal election though he didn't believe the overall outcome of the election was altered. David Aiken has more. Aaron O'Toole says the Conservatives did not lose the 2019 election because of foreign interference by China, but some of his party's candidates did. Five to nine seats that I think were possibly changed as a result of foreign interference. One of those was in the Vancouver area riding of Steveston, Richmond East, where nearly half of voters are Chinese. Conservative Kenny Chu won there in 2019, but lost in 2021 after being the target of a massive coordinated disinformation campaign. Doors that have been open to me mere 20 some months ago, uh, as soon as they, they heard my Chinese name, Cao uh, Jingrong, they would shut the door in my face. Observe strong indicators. The disinformation campaign against you was flagged during the election period by Canadian security officials who concluded that there were, quote, strong indicators that the Chinese government was behind it. But no one told Chu or the Conservatives, and no one did anything about it. I've been betrayed. That's how I, I see it. Clearly... A genocide is taking place in Xinjiang. One reason why conservatives believe they were targeted by China, Michael Chong's motion to condemn China's persecution of Muslim Uyghurs as a genocide. In retaliation, Chinese diplomats in Canada plotted threats against his family. The federal government would end up expelling one of the diplomats involved. Chong, too, testified. I would say that the conservative party uh, was affected in about half a dozen ridings by the foreign interference threat activities directed by the government of the People's Republic of China. But the Prime Minister on Wednesday all but dismissed that testimony. I can understand where uh, someone who lost an election is trying to look for reasons uh, other than themselves why they might have lost an election. The reality is not a single riding or the result of the overall election was impacted or changed because of foreign interference. That has been the Prime Minister's basic line all along, but the inquiry he called has appeared to have amassed enough evidence and testimony so far that it might challenge the Prime Minister's hard and fast conclusion. David Aiken, Global News, Ottawa. A BC teen is facing several charges after... ...debating uh, the PRC's That's genocide... Uh, in Xinjiang in early 2021. That's right. Okay, so yes. the, the PRC has yes. been committing a genocide against some 12 million Uyghur Muslims. That's a lie. The, the PRC has yes. been committing a genocide against some 12 million Uyghur Muslims. That's a lie.